off amazon.com. So this video, we're gonna cover where to find products elsewhere besides amazon.com. Like I mentioned in the beginning, in terms of finding new products, I prefer to start the search actually on amazon.com because it shows me the BSR and therefore the estimated demand when you're using tools like marketing intelligence and jungle scout. However, if you really wanna bring something that's completely unique that isn't being sold right now, here's some places that I would go. So the first one is probably Alibaba. I mean, most likely you're gonna be sourcing the products from China. So Alibaba is like a really great directory for finding kind of unique products, maybe using similar keywords to a product you want to differentiate with. You can always use eBay. You know, people still sell there. There's a huge catalog of products there. There's also sites like Watch Count that help you kind of estimate the demand on eBay and seeing kind of what's trending. There's companies like, or websites like Etsy, which is really cool because they have a little bit more unique, more handcrafted products. There's also wish.com, which for those that don't know Wish, uh, which is a really cool, usually a drop shipping site, but it's where a lot of products that are sold directly from China using like trade companies and e-packets are actually sold all around the world. There's Kickstarter, which I'm sure most of you guys are aware of, but these are typically more unique products, kind of they're uh, launching a campaign specifically to raise funds to bring that product to market. So these are a lot more differentiated or unique than your typical Amazon product. And then Instagram is a great place to find kind of trending products. So things like slime or things that are kind of, you know, really hitting like the social media sphere, you can often find these on Instagram or even YouTube. Other places that are a little bit more traditional is like the eyes is seen on TV products. I know we've seen a lot of people kind of selling products around that. QVC, you know, they have great home categories. Again, a kind of an older demographic, but you know, really strong following. Shark Tank is a really cool place where we're constantly getting new ideas and seeing what's out there and just generally where uh, trends are heading. Touch of Modern has a really cool kind of type of customer. It's way more tech focused, design focused, and like obviously very modern, but they'll have everything from tech gadgets to home decor, you name it. Chewy, if you're kind of interested in the pets category, they're uh, probably one of the biggest online pet stores. Uh, I think they were just acquired for several billion last year. And then there's Wayfair, which does a lot of home and uh, home decoration, stuff like that. They're great. There's also Trend Hunter, which is a great place to find ideas, trends. They have a lot of cool stuff there as well. And then there's deal sites like Groupon and Living Social. So a lot of people don't know, but like Groupon Goods is a huge growing area for Groupon. They have a whole buying team and they're really focused on expanding their uh, lines of business into physical products. So this is a great place to find other private label ideas. And then there's sites like Slick Deals. And Slick Deals does a lot of promotions and it's kind of in a Reddit format where the best deals will go to the front. So this kind of shows you a little bit more about demand and then for those specific deals. And then there's also international. So international is interesting. So you could, in theory, take something that's like doing well in the UK or in Canada and then bring it to amazon.com. But I think another really interesting kind of strategy, what I even like even more, is seeing what's doing well on amazon.com since it is the largest marketplace for Amazon and then bringing that to other marketplaces like UK or Canada and then expanding that way.